Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Happy Tuesday! We are going to have Shape Week. And right now, we're going to talk about the first shape in our studies. Here we go. <gasps> what shape is that? Miss Christine made these beautiful boxes a few years ago. And you might recognize them. It's been a while since, since uh, we've been in them. But... It's time to revisit. Let's open up and let's see what's inside. Think about what this first shape is. Round, oh so round. It's very, very round. What is round? A circle, completely round. And look what's above me. I am working underneath a circle right now. Wow. And on our table, here's a circle. How about that? Let's look at what else is in the box. And at the end of this lesson, I have a little assignment for you guys to do from home. All right, let's see what's in this box. Oh, it's a box of circular objects. First, we have a steering wheel cover. <gasps> Completely round, quite large. What colors do you see on this steering wheel cover? What do you see? I see black. Ooh, letter M actually. And I see white. And it's fuzzy. You have to use your imagination for that part because it's a video so we can't feel it like if we would be doing in class. But it is fuzzy in texture. A steering wheel cover goes over the steering wheel in a car or a truck, whatever your family is driving, keeps the heat off of the plastic. All right, oh, look at how full this tub is. Let's see what else is in here. Look at that. It's a circular Frisbee. Look at that, it's got a hole in the middle. Peekaboo! I see you. Hole in, hole in the middle, a hole in the middle. We can even see the box. Through the hole in the middle, we can see what's inside our box. Ooh, how about that? Hole in the middle, it's a hole in the middle, and we can see right through. It's got the Rugrats on it. Look at that. There we go. I could throw it, but I don't want to have to go retrieve it right now. So I think I'll just park it over there on the other side of the table. <gasps> what else is inside our box? Oh, a sifter. Or well, you could call it a colander, too. You find these in the kitchen? They're round and round and round and round and round. Very circular. This is kind of rough because of the mesh that's on it. But what you can do is put things inside and rinse them. Matter of fact, let's go try that right now. Do you think this is going to hold the water? Or, ooh, look at I think I might see some round things right there on the counter. Ooh. 
round things. But getting back to this, round things. Do you think that water will go through this or it will hold the water? Let's see. Let's put it in the sink. Turn the water on. Oh, look at that. It is going through. The water is going through. That's what happens with a sifter or a colander. If it wasn't nighttime when I'm filming this, we could go put some sand in it and see what happens, but I'm not going to do that in the dark. So we could just enjoy the water instead. There we go. Now I need to leave that out to dry. I'll put it over here. <gasps> with these other round things. It just weren't even in the box. They were on the counter. Two round plastic cups. A round mug. Love my mom, it says. A round plastic dish. A round jar. And a round plate. How about that? With one, two round vases. Look at the pretty flowers. St. Patty's Day flowers. And a round cactus. So it's aloe vera. We call it a cactus. It's really aloe vera. I think I need to water it. I'm going to take a minute to do that. Get you a little water and I'll leave you in the sink. Watering the aloe vera cactus. And an empty round doggy dish treat. Perhaps we need to fill that up, huh? All right, let's get back to our ooh, ooh, ooh. sneak peek at what's to come. <laughs> let's get back to our... To our uh, activity box and let's see what we have next. <gasps> Look at that. It is a clock. I don't know if the batteries in here are good or not. Just turn it on and let's see. I haven't messed with it lately. So I'm thinking not only because the time has stopped. Yeah, as dead as dead could be. So uh, we'll just look at the roundness of the clock. And then uh, next time I get it out, we can change the batteries so that we can hear the clock and watch the time, the minute, and the, uh, especially the second hand turn. But nee, nee, a circular clock. Put it in there. What else is in here? Oh, look at this. These are old school. Conair fast dry rollers for curling hair. Cylindrical. They're round and they're also long. Put this down and look inside. Let's see. But it is sealed, so I don't want to do that. We'll just look from the outside. You can see how round they are. Put that over here. Let's see what else is in our tub. Oh, look at this. What color do you see? Pink. It's pink. Let's open up the lid. Cylinder. Round. Look at that. And... The lid. What do we do with these? What is this? We can put water in here. We could pour ourselves a cup of water. Let's do that. All right, I go to the sink. Spill it up with water. Sink's leaking a little bit. Let's put some water in here. That's probably enough. We'll grab the lid. We'll put the lid on. Let's come on. I don't want it to spill. All right. Let's grab a cup. 
Oh, two round objects. Okay, let's pour from our container into the cup. Let's find out if it tastes good or not. Mm, I'm going to try it and see. Oh. Oh. Water is so delicious and healthy for our bodies. It's good. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Completely empty. That was delicious. I'm going to put that in the sink because when I'm not filming this, I will. I'll just leave that, that for now. Actually, I could take it and put it in the fridge and make it cold, huh? Let's do that. Let's open up the refrigerator. We'll put it in there with the less nutritious soda pop. Gosh, are there round things in this refrigerator? Look at that. Tortillas? The tortillas are round. Wow. Cherry Pepsi? In a two liter bottle. That's round two. Coffee mate. Cylindrical and round. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, maraschino cherries. That is round. Mayonnaise. Round. The lid to the ketchup. Round. The lid to the mustard. Round. The lid to the chocolate syrup. Round. We have round things in our refrigerator. Letter O. Letter O is round. Wow, round. Oh, look at here. My goodness, at the stove, I see a small round pot, a round burner, and one, two, three more round burners all circles wow and if you look over here the oven and broiler the temperature dial round the uh bro the uh broiler bake round oh my goodness that's amazing all of the roundness that's around <laughs> in the kitchen wow all right, let's see what else is in our tub here. Oh, remember this? Our beautiful round scarecrow. Look at that. Let's look at the back. It's made of straw. And the front. I'd open it, but because I'm doing this by myself, I don't know if I can or not. See. Yeah, I guess I can. Let's take her out. Not sure how much I can do one handed while holding my phone here. Here she comes. Maybe. There she is. Oh, look at that. How cute, huh? She has two eyes. Look at the center of her eyes. Circles. She has one round red nose, just like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as he shouted out with glee, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Yay! Did you like that? Why, yes, I did. I thought that was a great song. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Look at that round red nose. Just like Rudolph. Amazing. And kind of kind of rough to the touch because of the straw. You are so cute. I'm going to let you rest over there while we explore more of what's inside our box. Oh, here's a class. It's peanuts. Look at that. Charlie Brown, Lucy, Peppermint Patty, 
Linus, Sally, Woodstock. Look at that. Snoopy. We already kind of talked about cups at the sink, so I won't spend a lot of time on this. But it's round with a circle. What else is in here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's so plush and soft. Colors. Look about the colors we see on this. More colors. Boing, 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 boing. Boing. I see yellow and I see black. It is a round ball. Oh, do we get back to school? We're going to be able to play ball. That's what we'd be doing if we were all together right now. But instead, just get to watch me play. Sorry about that. All right, let's we'll set it over here. Let's see what else is in here. Peek! Oh, did you see what was in there? Peek! Oh, that was pretty quick. Did you see? One more time. Quick peek. Peek! All right, now I'm going to dig my left hand in and see what else I can find. Oh, measuring cups. Look at that. We use measuring cups when we bake in school. These are beautiful. They're on a round ring. Nice circle right there. How many are there? One, two, three. Three measuring cups hooked together. This one is one cup. One whole cup of water will hold. This is a half cup. It'll hold a half cup. This is a quarter cup. So you can see small circle, small circle, medium circle, large circle. If we were to take our water, we can fill up these measuring cups and we can see how much they hold. Let's grab our water from the refrigerator. I'm glad I hung on to it because now it's coming in handy. Let's see. Uh, I want to get a clear, a clear cup. I might have to use that, but I want to see what else is in here. Look in the cupboard. Uh, I guess that, that might do. Let me take this out. And we are going to measure the water so you can see the size of it. Okay, the first one is a quarter of a cup. We're going to pour it in. Kind of messy here. So you guys can see what a quarter of a cup looks like in this glass. Pour it in. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, small amount of water. A quarter of a cup isn't, isn't a lot. Okay, I'm going to pour it back because we're not drinking from it. Okay, now let's fill up our half cup. This is the medium one. Here we go. Half cup. All right. Oh, check that out. There's more, twice as much. Because two, two quarter cups make a half cup. Okay, I'm going to pour it back in there. Have them throwing some math at you. Let's just try it. Let's see if we get the same amount with two quarters of a cup. I haven't planned on this, but that's what makes spontaneous learning so much fun. All right, one... And here comes the next one. Two. Yep, look at that. Same, same as uh, when it was a, a half cup. Okay, now I'm going to pour it back in here. Let's see what happens with a whole cup now. 
for it to try and get it to stand up here. Stand up. Okay, here we go. Standing up. Standing up. <laughs> All right, look at that. Here we go. Let's pour it. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is one whole cup. All right, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to, we'll get a little more scientific here. Let me grab another one. Now, let's see. No, it's not the same. I may or may not be able to be scientific because they, they need to be the same. Uh, they're not. Oh, I got a new idea. Let me, uh, let me grab these. Let's pour. Right into there. That cup is different. Okay, let's go grab this cup. Close the cabinet there. And we're going to find out if two, two half cups make the same as one whole cup. So we're going to get some more water. We're setting this, setting this one aside. We'll put it in the sink right there. I'll clean it later. Here we go. All right, there's one half cup. Pour it in the in here. One half cup. Do you think that if we add another half cup, it's going to be the same as a whole cup there of water when we measure it? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. It's so hard to do this and not spill. Okay. We're not 100% there, because I'm not the most accurate of measuring people, but that is pretty darn close. Look at that. Wow. So, two quarter cups make a half cup, and two half cups make a whole cup. How about that? Now we're going to pour all the water back. Here we go. Let's set them out to dry. I'll put this back in the fridge just in case you get thirsty later. Alright, there it is. Okay, and we'll put these out to dry. Add it to the collection of things that are drying in the kitchen. And I'll grab that one too. That one needs to be washed because I was drinking out of it. Alright, let's leave this out to dry. And let's go see what else is in the tub. Coming back to the table. Whoop, peek! Whoop, peek! What else is in there? Oh, look at that. Disney princesses. It is a small container. We can open it, and it will hold objects like cereal, M&Ms, rice. Anything small can go in there, and we'll hold it. A circle. If we did that and then sh shook it, it would be like a musical instrument. Ooh. Let's see what we can put in there that we could shake and make some noise. Gosh, what can I find in here? Uh, oh, look. Oh, look at more round things in the kitchen drawer. More measuring cups and cooking utensils. Potato smasher, that's round two. That's amazing. I don't see anything small that I could put in there, but I found some round things. Look at that. Um, these are round two. I'm trying to remember what you call them. I can't even think of it at the moment. You got a turkey baster here, round. Um, rolling pin, there we go. I have to think about it a minute. Rolling pin, that's round. Apple cutter. Round, round things that you find in your house. Even the burner, the, they turn on the, because uh, this is an electric stove. The burner dials, those are round too. Yeah, I'll find something to put in here. Let's see. So we're trying to make a musical instrument. Uh, oh, scissors, a little round circle right there in the scissors. Scotch tape. Round. That is amazing. The candles. Put those up. These are my mama's candles from like the 70s. Round. 
round cylinder. You put it back in there. I just found something that we can put in in our dish to make noise. And they're even round. Look at that, little tacks. Let's put them in here. Let's make some noise. Here we go, make noise just putting them in there. Ready? Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. That's Casey and the Sunshine Band, 1975. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. I have to send you guys the link to the to that song if you don't know it. Look at that! So we can make some noise, and it's holding round thumbtacks. But I'm gonna take them back, and I'm gonna put them in this other container. There you go. Get that paper out too. Put it back in the drawer, and close the drawer. Getting back to our round tub. What else is in there? Beep, beep. <gasps> Peanuts plate. Look at that. It matches the cup. All star. And it is round. What colors do we see? Look at baseballs. When we all can go back and start enjoying life, the baseball season will resume. We can catch our Dodgers in action. All star. I see the star. Blue. Baby blue, dark blue, and white, white baseballs. Sweet. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, look at this. A round scrubbing brush. Ooh, this is rough. It's meant to scrub really dirty things. Make them cleaner. Brown with a white handle. Circle. Mm. Oh, look at that. We have, you can either put salt, sugar, or pepper in here and shake. Most people do salt and pepper, shake it on their food. White with holes so that it comes out. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, demonstrate that or we'll never, we'll never move on to any other shapes any other days. I'd be here doing circles forever. Nice and round. Look at that. Clear on the bottom, white on the top. What else is in there? Peek, peek. A CD. A nice round a CD. This one's for recording. You can tell it's getting kind of old because a lot of us use uh, iPods now or just stream music on Spotify. But CD. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. Boy, they better not be real or they'd be really rotten by now. <laughs> It's this box is old. All right, let's open it up. Let's see. Fake. Fake grapes. Look at that. Ooh, they're nice and squishy. That is a fun... Use my other hand because my right hand's getting tired of filming. A fun, squishy texture. So when we get back to school, we got to play with this because it feels great. Nice circular grapes. These are not for eating. They're plastic. They're fake. That's why they feel so good because if they were real, I would have done squished them by now and have a messy hand. But they're plastic. What else is in here? Peek. Oh, Spider Man, Spider Man. It's a nightlight Spider Man. Red and white. And round. I'm not going to try and turn it on because there's no battery in it. But it's round. So if you go to Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, you could pick up one of those and light up your house with it. And they come real handy when the power's out. Uh -huh. That's an oval, which is a derivative or something similar to round. Derivative, your word of the day. Similar. But this is round. I have no idea what that is. I could not tell you, but I think that they might glow in the dark. Mm. Oh, look at these. One, two. Do you know what these are? These circles. You can put soil in them and plant. Very much like the aloe vera cactus 
that is draining in the sink over here. Let's see if it's done. You finish draining, we put you back over on the counter. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's a hot commodity. We're very blessed to have that because not everybody has that. And round, right there, a circle. Round, circle. Round on the palm olive. Oh, look at this. A little, little yellow ball. Round. It's amazing what you can find around your house that's round, huh? Then we have the All American Tennis Ball. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. It is so true. Stars and stripes all the way. That's what I say. That's what I say. It's all the way. There you go. Looks kind of like our, our uh, flag in the classroom, huh? Oh, peek, peek. We have a Snoopy ball with one, two, three red stars. Look at that. A large one and two small ones. There's Snoopy. He's got his ball cap on. He is ready for the game. Put our ball in there. We're serving up balls for lunch today. <laughs> Oh, this feels good. We have a nice, squishy, white, squishy and bumpy. Little, uh, it's like a ginormous either ping pong ball or golf ball. But it's just meant for us to play with. Let's put it in. Put it inside our flower pot. Let's put this one inside the other flower pot. We don't have to have plants in there. We can put other stuff in too. One. Two, two balls. Getting down to the nitty gritty in here. <gasps> a red apple. You look there, there's a circle, a little leaf coming out. It's round, red and green. It's fake. This is a lantern. A luminaria lantern so if we were to put it together and I'm not going to do that because it takes a long time and I'm here by myself and only have uh, one hand with which to work with because the other is holding the phone uh, blue and white and it's round it's a circle right there it attaches with is also a circle That'd be very cool for another day, putting that together. Look at it. There's not too many items left in here. Oh, another hot commodity to go with the hand sanitizer. I don't know if I get this bag open or not. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Look, toilet paper. That's always ni nice to see when you go to the store. We haven't had a lot of that lately. And I see a circle. It sure is round. How about that? And we have, oh, there's me. Ha ha. This is what I look like when I'm filming for you guys to watch. La, 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 la. A mirror. How about that? Peekaboo. I see you, a mirror. This is uh, for spe specifically, uh, this one's magnified. That way, if you want to see things more closely, you use the side that makes things larger. This is the average size. I look smaller. And you turn it around. This is the magnified side, and I'm bigger. How about that? Mirror. It's a circle. Postage tape with a piece of the scarecrow attached to it. Pick that up in the stationery department or the post office, and we use that for sealing envelopes and boxes very sturdy and round and 
The finish is smooth. Look at this. We only have a few things left in here. Oh, this is a compass. A compass tells us what direction we're going in if we travel. So this says southwest on one side and northeast on the other. It's this green circle. So I am sitting at the table facing east to west, which makes sense because in that direction is where the sun rises. Our sun rises in the west, and it sets in the east. So I know that this compass is accurate because I know the direction of the house. Well, that's pretty cool. Got inside our postage tape. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger too. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, with Tigger too. This is a yo-yo. They're a lot of fun. They roll up and down. It's a circle, red, with poo and Tigger inside. I don't think I can do that one-handed. If I was in class right now, I would... I would demo it and like do some tricks because I do know how to work a yo-yo. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There it goes. I can kind of do it one-handed. And down it goes. I'm going to wrap it up later. Spin. I'm going to leave that on the, on the floor so that I can pick it up. When we're done, done filming. This is a thermometer checks heat in the oven. Make sure that your meat or whatever you're cooking is cooked enough. It's got little round holes in the back for venting so it doesn't get too hot and explode in the oven. We have, see how many holes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes. So a circle. Oh, this is nearly empty. Coasters. Durable synthetic fiber. What you do with coasters is you put cups on top of them. Get the coasters out. Look at that. Ooh, these are uh, I almost feel like scrubbing pads. They're not, not very soft. But you take your coaster. My rubble over here. Put your cup on top of it, and if the cup spills, the coaster, our nice round coaster, catches the drips. Man, these are nice and blue. Feels feels like rug too. What else is in here? Oh, a little uh, cat ball. Could be a cat toy or ping pong with holes in it. Red. Actually, it's more orange. And round. It is a circle. I'm going to put that right in there. We have an empty bag. Make sure there's nothing in here. Whenever we last got the tub out, we forgot to put something back in here. So I will pick something to put in there, like probably this mirror right here. And let... Oh, there's two more. Two more objects. Let's do the round Lincoln penny. We've talked about money when we were talking about Presidents uh, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. And here's President Abraham Lincoln on a ginormous penny. Supposedly manufactured in 1972. Came out the mint, but it's fake, so that's just the year they put on it. One cent. Circle. Let's get out the last item. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Look at that. An eyeball. A nice round eyeball. Let's see if it bounces. No, it does not bounce. <laughs> if I didn't break it, let me check. Uh, so it'll start up. Yeah, I think I just broke it. The, the goop is coming out. I'll have to put that in a baggie too. Oops. I thought it would bounce. Now after we hang, 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 hang up this video, I'll, uh, I'll clean it up and put it in a little baggie, see what happens. As the eyeball turns. Look at that. Circle. Very round. And a little bit greasy now. All right. Let's look around because the box is empty. 
Let's take a couple minutes and look around the room for more round things. <gasps> look at that, a round fan. It's a circle. The lamp, I just climb on the table and you look inside. That is a circle, round, cylinder, the lamp shape, as well as the lamp. And you flip it over, look underneath, it's round. The dials on the CD player, round, round. There's CDs over here. We looked at those out in the tub. They're round as well. The dial to the fan, Kmart. It's a good, a good fan. Yeah. Round and inside, I don't know if you could see or not because this cleaning stuff's in the way. Um, spinner right there, round. So your job at home is to find three round things, three circular round things in your house. Check this out, a globe. We've studied these in school before. Here we are in the States, California, we're right about there. We are all in this whole entire world right now taking care of ourselves and staying indoors and being safe because everybody all around the world has to be careful and not get sick. Nobody's going to school right now. The globe is a big old circle. Look at these two little cups right here. One, two, they're round. The plant, big old fake plant right here is in a round planter. So I want you to go around your house and look for, oh, this is funny. This is not round, this is uh, my science. This broom has been up for 17 days now. This is my mother's house. I don't, uh, I don't live here. That's why I'm filming down here because, as you all know, I have a rescue kennel in Cattery, and it's impossible to do much more than read a story at my house because the critters are everywhere. I put this up 17 days ago because uh, the rumor is that the broom or an egg will only be upright on uh, the solstice. Not true. 17 days later and this broom is still standing. Well, obviously we've not had any earthquakes either because it's it's not knocked down. <laughs> so we'll see how much longer it stays up before, uh, before something happens. Um, I am very careful to avoid it and, and not do anything near it and, and knock it down. But look around your houses. Look at this. Timer. The dial and the timer. Round. There are so many Round items, another round lamp in our, look at this, beautiful vintage, it's my native homeland right there from Toronto, round plate, I hung up on the wall here. So many things you can find in your house that are round. The doorknob, it is round. Bells, silver bells, silver bells. It's nearly April Fool's in this city. They're around. Look for three items in your house that are round. And I want you to either send me a video of your three round items or shoot me a picture of your three round items. Because everywhere you turn, you can find round things. Another timer, a little candle right there. I don't know what that is, but it's round. I don't know if it sings or not. It's not mine. Not all this stuff in the house is mine. Long story, but it's round. So look for, oh look, it's Pete the Cat. See, have anything round on him? Uh, yes, look at that. Look at his shoelace. We have a rectangle in here, but on each end it is round. Look at his guitar, where the uh, strings connect at the top, round. Oh, look at our, our calendar. I got April going already because I'm ahead of the game here. The tires on the sports car, round. Look around your house, round. 
Cylindrical round circle. Show me three round things. And look at that. The uh, fire alarm. Circle, white, and round. And I will be looking forward to seeing paper towels. Round. Hair, uh, hair, I don't know what this is. It's not mine either. Moose. But circle, round. Three items that are a circle in your house. And I anxiously await by broom your results. Have a great day and look for those round circle items. Bye.